Hey YouTube, this is Rishika. So this would be my 32nd video tutorial on uh, data stage and part 8th video on transformer stage. Okay, so in the previous tutorials, I pretty much discussed about the string functions, date and time functions, mathematical functions and null handling functions and yeah, pretty much everything. So in this, we're going to cover about, uh, cover about the uh, type conversion functions okay so probably uh, yeah once we are done with the type conversions I'll make a theory part video uh, covering other like uh, simple uh, functions not used often so yep that uh, that's when we finish the transform functions okay so yeah after that probably I'll uh, go with stage variables and loop variables okay anyways yeah uh, so similar to that uh, type fun uh, similar to the null handling and all that I didn't write the uh, I mean I have already written uh, already written the derivations and everything I have written the derivations and gave the apt uh, uh, data types and everything so the job is also run so what I gonna do is I gonna uh, if, if you have been following my previous videos with the transformer functions so yeah I pretty much uh, take the screenshot of the transformation derivations and compare or relate that transformations to the output okay so let me just uh, pull out the transformation screenshot okay so here's uh, the upper one is the output data obviously and the below one is uh, the screenshot of the transformation transformer derivations okay so let's see one by one and uh, please do follow my cursor because it's a little confusing uh, so just follow my cursor uh, cursor moment okay okay so the first function is a uh, first type conversion function is character care function so this is basically uh, uh, if you let's say if you have if you want to know uh, if you want to know the uh, I mean what is this function may uh, what is this function give is it gonna give the uh, uh, give the whenever you specify a numeric code so for that numeric code it gonna give the uh, ASCII character okay so the corresponding ASCII character for the given numeric uh, value will be given uh, for that I mean basically how that works is every ASCII uh, every ASCII character or ASCII character has its own numeric code so yeah whenever you want to see what that code is actually in ascii so just uh, specify that code you can just uh, give the column name if you have any ascii character in that call uh, i mean any numeric code in the column name so that it's going to give the corresponding ascii character okay so that's how this is going to function and uh, next is date to decimal so uh, it's little confusing so just be uh, just be attentive okay and date to decimal is you are specifying a default date okay default date is year which is like four uh, four characters or four digits and month and date uh, okay so uh, so this is the default one okay because i specify default one i didn't i didn't give the format okay but if i don't specify a uh, year a uh, year first or month uh, i mean let's say if i have like month date and then year i need to specify uh, what format i have given here okay so basically because it's a default thing i didn't give any format okay i, I have another example too so i'll explain it later but as of now date to decimal is basically we are specifying in my example i'm specifying a default date okay and that date is being converted to decimal value if you see here in the column see here 2013.1224 so this is converted the date is converted to decimal value right so yeah that's how uh, it gonna function okay similarly if if you have like decimal that gonna be converted to date but make sure you specify the data type like app data type uh, it doesn't work if you give like date to decimal and uh, give okay any date and uh, I mean if it's a default date no need to mention the format otherwise the format option it's optional so yeah so yeah and you, you don't specify like precision and scale that's the two things which you need to give for decimal right if 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 you, that uh, function gonna work okay so make sure you give the precision and scale and if you see here probably I have given precision around 4, 4, 8 and 12 I guess okay so the precision is 12 and the scale probably I have given 4 so that's the reason it added zeros more because it it 
uh, it's gonna add zeros to make the length ac ac accurate accurate right sorry so yep that's uh, that's the reason okay so date to decimal so basically this uh, type conversions are uh, basically used for converting one data type to the other data type so that we are we are not messing up with the actual data type by directly converting it and if sometimes uh, in sometimes it gonna convert without any error but if, when you see the detector they're gonna be warning because it says you didn't handle this and this type conversion so you directly uh, job may run but there might be warnings okay sometimes it doesn't run at all that it, it directly aborts okay so in real time we don't need warnings too so that's the reason I mean most of the times so that's the reason uh, the type conversions are pretty important okay so let's say you have a date column in real time and they said uh, make sure like the date gonna be converted to decimal not really decimal but they want something uh, date look like this okay so when when they want date look like this it doesn't I mean you need not write uh, uh, write your own derivation instead you can just change to uh, from date to decimal and have this thing okay but obviously it's gonna convert to decimal data type okay so yep that's a date to decimal function and date to string obviously it's nothing so just the date uh, we're gonna have the date format right date 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 data type but uh, let's say you don't want the date data type but instead you want the string or car uh, I mean wildcard data type so that's when you choose uh, you're converting basically the data uh, the data type from date to the string okay that's it okay string data type okay so if you see here it doesn't change it's the same value but when you see uh, when uh, when you see in the output that gonna be uh, as a string okay so yeah you can do anything with the string in the next level I mean you can do any transformations but uh, but no uh, that column in other levels from this uh, starting from this it's no longer a date thing it's a string okay so that's how are that functions and the next is decimal to decimal it's not converting you might be wondering what's decimal to decimal here okay it makes sense day to decimal and day to string but what's this decimal to decimal decimal to decimal means it has basically uh, probably a uh, four four I guess four or five I'm not sure but mostly we're gonna use seal and floor okay if you remember uh, probably in mathematical functions I mentioned about seal and floor okay so seal means uh, upper I mean <laughs> ceiling fan and all that right I just told that to remember okay seal means ceiling floor means down okay so if you see here 34.567 this is my decimal okay so what did I this seal is basically it's an, uh, it's an argument okay so I'm giving its seal okay so seal means it's upper right so what it gonna round off to is 34 point what's upper uh, after 7 I mean before uh, after upper is it, it's gonna convert the uh, decimal part because I specified because I specified this as uh, like uh, basically uh, 5 I'm sorry 3 5 yep so the precision is 5 and uh, precision is 5 and the scale is probably 2 so that's the reason it's converting 7 to uh, I mean 6 uh, 6 to 7 okay because it's seal right it need to go one upward okay so let's say you don't give any precision uh, let's say you, you gave like uh, something precision like uh, uh, 3 and uh, a scale is like one so it's gonna be probably 34.6 i guess okay so yeah it, it all depends on how you give the precision and the scale thing in your data type okay so decimal means it goes upward okay and if you see here decimal to decimal 34.567 floor i have given floor okay so floor means basically i'm giving it uh, I'm, I'm asking it instead of going upward please go downward okay so if you see here I have given the same uh, precision and scale so that's the reason it's showing the same it added one zero before because I uh, probably have chosen five uh, precision I guess so yeah so uh, floor right so instead of five seven now it's gonna have five six because it's gonna stop at five six it's not gonna five five okay because uh, it's it's uh, downward right ceiling I mean floor right okay so that's it and the next is decimal to D float D float is like another data type basically it's like double float float is one data type and double float is like uh, it's another data type okay so the output gonna be uh, in the format of double float okay uh, 
probably I need not explain what's float and double float if you guys are not sure just uh, check out yourselves because <laughs> that creates another long video okay mostly uh, I'm gonna concentrate on this type conversions as of now okay so yeah if, but if you see here uh, I have given an argument an additional argument called fix zero okay so what I'm gonna uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm converting the basic decimal to D flow data type and by doing that I'm also trying to fix zeros okay so I'm telling data stage convert decimal to decimal data type to D flow data type for the given value and along with that fix zeros also so I don't want uh, any zeros in here so just give me the number with the D flow data type okay so if you see here uh, decimal to D flow here okay please follow my cursor again okay so if you see here 0, 0, 0, 0002322900 0, 0, right but if you see here I have given argument fix zero so that's the reason it has only 232.9 it doesn't have any zeros right because I tr I fix zeros I have given an argument called fix zero okay so it whenever it see an argument called fix zero it gonna uh, understand that okay they don't need an output as fix zeros probably so yeah I just gonna fix zeros that's it right <laughs> okay so yeah next is uh, decimal to string okay if you see here next is decimal to string decimal to string is it's the same thing as uh, date to string so you're basically converting instead of date uh, instead of date uh, you're converting to string it, uh, I mean instead of that you're converting decimal value to a string value okay as a string okay so the decimal is passed as zero or something okay and I'm trying to suppress zero okay so suppress zero right so now 6.3 uh, it, it got suppressed I mean zeros are suppressed now okay so it gonna I mean it has basically other functions to other arguments like uh, probably uh, so it has arguments like uh, I mean suppress zero fix zero and yeah I don't remember but yeah we have multiple arguments so suppress zero it gonna suppress uh, suppress just it, it not gonna give uh, this values uh, probably zeros okay oh okay okay yeah suppress zero is right but fix zero I, I told it wrong probably uh, so yeah it's not same suppress zero and fix zero it's not same okay so suppress zero is right it gonna just suppress zeros okay so it doesn't give output as uh, uh, I mean even though the input contains zeros it it just suppress those zeros and doesn't give it in the output okay but when you see here in the fixed zeros, what happens is, uh, what happens is, whenever you give precision and scale, it's going to add zeros, okay? So fixed zero is whatever the length you give, it's going to add zeros to that, okay? So because I probably have given four uh, as my precision and one as my scale, so that's the reason it's it's not showing, uh, it's, it's not... Uh, fixing zeros uh, additionally okay so that's that's the difference between fix zero and suppress zero I'm sorry I was confused okay so anyways uh, so that's decimal to string and next is is valid is valid is basically you need to give your own data type if you want to let's say you want to check a data type and a value if 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 that value if that given value is check I mean is is really that data type or some other data type so that's when you're gonna choose this is valid function okay so in my example if you see here is valid int 8 okay so I'm trying to see if 30 the value specified here is 30 so I'm trying to know if the value here in which in my case it's 30 so 30 is whether it's integer I mean it's in int 8 uh, data type or not okay I want to know is 30 int 8 data type or not okay so if it's if it's true it gonna give output as one if it's not it gonna give as zero okay but we know that 30 is int 8 right data type that that's counted right so that gonna be one okay so let's check now in the uh, output so see here is valid because 30 is a valid uh, valid data type which we have specified as int 8 so that's the reason it's giving uh, uh, as output as one okay and next uh, is is valid int 8 example I just want to show uh, I just want to show uh, there is like another output called 0 so that's the reason it doesn't make sense at all but that's the reason I just choose this another example okay so see here is valid int 8 example example is obviously not int 8 value right so that's something probably string or something worker or something right so yeah 
so because it's not it gonna read this that it gonna first it gonna read the value and then go and then it gonna check if the value is the same data type mentioned here so it's not right so that's the reason the output here is zero okay so yeah and the next one is is valid is valid we can also check the date thing okay so let's say uh, let's say we have date thing uh, we have this date so if you yeah uh, here if you sp if you see in my first thing here date to decimal I said so uh, here it's default data type right so I said that it's a default data type that's the reason I didn't give any uh, any uh, format okay but if you see here is valid it's not default data type default data type is year month and date okay but if you see here I have month date and then a uh, year right so because it, it data uh, i mean uh, default data type is also hyphens and now the data does not have hyphens instead it has slashes okay forward slash okay so data stage does not understand this format so uh, to make data stage for for easy understanding to data stage we need to specify this is a we need to specify the format so that the data stage reads a format first and understands that it it ha I mean the actual value is specified in the given format okay so if you see here month slash date and all that right so uh, that's the reason because that is not in the default format I have given my own format which I have which I have given here okay so let's say you don't have a date here instead you have a column okay so if you have a column there is a specific format for a column to write all the date functions so yeah that's when you need to have this uh, function defined if it's a default no need to define the function okay anyways okay so uh, i'm telling data stage this would be my uh, default format so please compare this and this as default format and check whether it's a valid date or not okay so if i see here 12 yep that's right uh, because we got we can't have a uh, 12 more than 12 months okay so that means that's okay and i do have forward slash forward slash and date that's i that's fine and 2013 i mean slash again and 2013 so that's perfect date right so uh, i believe that gonna be uh, output as one okay so what's that column is valid three so if you see here is valid through the column uh, the output is one right because that's perfect date so okay so yeah that's a valid date and the perfect date so that's the reason it given uh valid as is valid as it's valid so that's the reason it it has one as output okay so yep next is is valid date you might be wondering uh if if you do have like is valid why is this is valid date i just want to show that is valid date can also be uh, used with this is valid thing so i just want to show that additional function you can choose directly is valid date okay so if you choose is valid date you need not specify the date data type because it's obviously uh, the data type is read is by default date right so you need not specify that but yeah uh, and if you see here again i have given the default for uh, default format so I, I did not give an additional argument so because it has default thing right so yeah so now if you see here this is a default format so it's a I didn't change anything right so uh, it should be one output should be one right so what's a column name valid date so valid date if you see here see it's one right because it's in the default format and I didn't change and it's it makes sense for a date right yep so next is is valid date is valid date see here I have changed I have changed the uh, date uh, I mean day uh, month and uh, year right but if you see here I changed the default format and slashes and all that but I didn't specify any argument like any uh, formatting option right so it not going to understand now it, it going to check it going to check uh, for the default uh, default value and it doesn't match with this right so that's the reason uh, it going to output as zero because it does not understand that format so that's the reason is valid date to this column is output is zero right okay so next is is valid decimal so decimal it gonna just i mean if whenever we're gonna give like decimal some decimal or the column value which has decimal it gonna check basically the decimal uh, if, if if it is decimal and then it gonna give one output okay so that simple okay so yep next functions are 
so is valid time so the next function is is valid time okay so uh, i mean similar to is valid date and is valid decimal and all that it gonna check whether the given time is uh, valid or not okay so now i uh, if just just you wanna i mean uh, for your understanding that you can choose multiple functions inside while writing the derivations i choose this time function uh, if you remember i have made a we uh, i've made a video about the date and time functions right so while i was making that video i i told you what's a current time it's gonna have the current time okay so now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to read this type conversion function with the time function okay so i want to know uh with this current time if it's a valid time or not obviously it's a current time it's gonna have uh, the default value right so i mean default no it's not the default value the current uh the runtime value right so yeah obviously it's gonna be correct so valid right so yeah that's the reason the output gonna be one okay so is valid timestamp same to current time but instead uh instead of time uh, time i chose timestamp now and i choose the time timestamp function from the date and time functions okay so yeah that's again one and is valid timestamp here uh, i mean is valid time now i choose a microsecond function ms means microseconds right so it just gonna check uh, if it's a valid time or not it doesn't matter because it's still uh, a time ms with microseconds uh it, it's it's gonna be one okay so yeah it's it's nothing i just want to show you uh if it's going to be different output so that's the reason i just showed you okay so is valid timestamp with microseconds still it's going to be one okay that's it and next is is valid timestamp but i i instead of giving the time function as current timestamp i choose this date what is timestamp date and time right so but i didn't give any time i just i just i have just given the date okay so but uh, it it reads this and it's uh, it understands that there is only i mean part of the function part of the uh, output is right so it doesn't it looks for the another output it doesn't find it right so that's the reason it going to give uh, output as zero please follow my cursor again so here uh, the output what's a column name here valid underscore ts2 right so the output is zero because it's not a timestamp right it's just a date okay date is different from timestamp right okay next is sequence b sequence b is it's seek uh it's a cq means just sequence okay so it's opposite of a uh, care function if you remember care what did i say every character or every ascii ascii character has a numeric code so whenever you give care function and give the numeric code it's going to display the corresponding ascii character right but what happens with sequence uh, uh seek probably that sequence yeah it should be a sequence function or as <laughs> i'm sure it's it, it's called sequence function okay anyways okay so saq let's say it saq i don't want to uh, confuse you so let's say saq okay so it's it's just opposite of care function so instead of specifying or instead of giving a numeric code here you give an ascii character so on the whenever you give ascii character it gonna out in the output it gonna display the corresponding new uh corresponding numeric code okay so that's the opposite of care function right okay so the sequence i have given shows a uh, b so small i mean important thing is whenever you have a capital letter and small letter it's difference they have numeric different numeric codes okay it's not that same uh, b capital b and small small i mean small font b it's it's not it, it doesn't have the uh, i mean they do not have the same numeric code or same sequential value okay so uh, anyways so if you see here b it's uh, it's a string right so it now it in the output let's know uh, what's the uh, numeric code for this small b okay so what's this numeric code it's 98 so whenever so let's say you in character if you have this 98 number in the output uh, character 98 in the output it going to give the small b as the output okay so that's how this works and sequence it is uh basically sequence at i mean it gonna let's have uh, let's say we have a column here or we have we do have a string here so i go i want to know what's um fourth okay what's the fourth uh fourth sequential uh fourth uh what is the numeric code for the fourth ascii character in this word okay so what's the fourth word actually it's e right 
so if you see here fourth word is e so i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to point out or just uh, point out an uh, an ascii character from a word or a sentence anyways and then uh, I, I i would like to know the corresponding numeric code for that specified or that pointed out uh, word or letter okay so if you see here 4 so 4 is e right so what is that uh, function sequence at 111 triple 11 so whenever you have small e that going to be triple 11 okay so because i said they're going to be different right uh, capitalization and small uh, they do have different ascii codes or uh, ascii numeric codes for different ascii right so that's the reason if you see here capital e i have chosen the same same word and same uh, letter just to show you what's a diff, uh, if, if it gonna diff, choose if it gonna give the different numeric code or the same so now if you're gonna see here sequence at two column 79 see now here it's triple one is for small e and 79 is for capital e okay so that's different right even though it's the same letter uh, capitalization or ca uh, case sensitivity is different right so that's the reason the numeric codes for the same ascii character but different capital different case sensitivity is different okay and next is sequence at video 6 so you, i just want to i i thought of the possibility questions so i just made uh, another column uh, so you might be wondering let's say you have only five words and uh, you're trying to read a word that doesn't exist okay so what uh, what it gonna give it gonna just give the output as zero because if you see here video has only five letters right i mean five uh, yeah five letters right so but i'm trying to point out to sixth letter so i'm trying to point out the sixth letter which is not present in this word okay so that's the reason it's giving output as zero okay so yeah next ne let's move to uh, another thing let me just uh, do this so it would be easy for us to go for next functions okay so next is a uh, string to decimal okay so next function is string so what did we do here we converted decimal to string decimal to date and all that things right so now it's a reverse thing so string to decimal so we do have a string function here now that string function going to be this uh, converted to data type decimal but whenever you choose decimal as the output data type you need to give precision and scale obviously right so yeah so now uh, our, my string is 2013.1224 and I'm choose, I have chosen floor. Floor means uh, below, right? But if you see here, 2013.12, uh, I mean, it should give uh, probably uh, one uh, something, but uh, probably I have chosen the precision or scale as low number. I can't really show you what I have chosen because it, it's a little confusing. If I close this and open that again and opening this, it's it's confusing and it, it, it messes, uh, I mean, it's going to mess up my whole video. So, yeah, you can try it. Uh, I just want to explain the basic function so you can just try it with your own columns or you can own your own examples. Okay, so I'm just giving the brief idea. Okay so yep string to decimal so it's basically converting the string data type to a decimal data type and the precision and the scale should be obviously defined and the floor means it's going to convert to the lowest value the closest lowest value okay closer lowest value and the next is string to date we converted the to date uh, we converted date to string right so it's opposite string to date now the date is given so it gonna i mean now the string is given so this string is converted to date okay so if you see here a uh, string even though it's string uh, it doesn't understand the uh, doesn't understand the format here because it's uh, slashes it does not understand this so i'm specifying this as because it's gonna write it to output so i'm gonna specify what is date what is month and what is year right so it, it needs to understand that right so that's the reason i gonna uh, that, that's the reason i have given the format here so it's gonna first understand this format and uh, so it's gonna understand that the last value is year so uh, obviously the output it gonna be in its own default value okay so that's it okay so string basically string value is converted to uh, default date value okay uh, i mean default format of the date value not default date value but default format of the date value okay 
and next is string to time so string to time is also similar to string to date so you give uh, I tried giving different formats because uh, I, I just want to know uh, how there is there might be any possibility of formats so I just I just gave some uh, funny and silly uh, formats okay so if you see here uh, the default time format is always our uh, HH which is if you see here my cursor string time and the output column H H M M and N N uh, sorry sorry H H and N N and S S so H H is hour N N is minutes and S S is seconds so you can have my nanoseconds too but that's a different scenario okay so anyways this is a default time format so if you see here 54 54 it doesn't make sense for that to be hour right because if even though we have 24 hour clock it's going to be 24 right so yeah 54 so this is this is so this is my nan uh, if if you don't okay what happens if i don't give uh, this is if i don't give this format is it going to abort or probably give error compile time uh, compile time error so it's going to throw me some error because that doesn't make sense at all right so yeah uh, anyways uh, here 54 dollar 01 dollar and 32 so it needs to understand what is our which one is day uh, which one is minutes and which one is seconds right and it's going to understand the format too so that's the reason i need to specify the format which i have given my value okay so i i, I told data stage that the first value which i will see that's is min that is minutes and next is hours and next is seconds so now it's going to understand what is our what is minutes and what are, what are seconds so once it understand uh, once it understood that it gonna change it gonna convert the string string function uh, or the string string data type to the time to default default format of the time okay so string timestamp it's pretty much same as these two uh, date and time but instead timestamp right so it's gonna have date as well as time so I have given some uh, value with a uh, date so I didn't give any spaces or something I just made forward slashes so I gave the same thing and here so but instead uh, okay so same thing here so output data uh, output uh, I mean output timestamp gonna be obviously with hyphens right so hyphens but we default format so what's the default format here date it's gonna display date as year date and time so yep that's it right so if you see here uh, I, I I chose all this I told data stage that please this is my format I have given so just convert this string whichever given here to timestamp but to default timestamp okay that's it and next is timestamp to date so timestamp to date it's simple uh, it just gonna it, it in the output it doesn't give the time just gives date okay but make sure you have output as uh, output as that date data type okay whenever you're dealing with the type conversions or any other conversions the important part is output data type and the precision of scale if it's decimal data type okay so that's the important thing and next is timestamp to decimal so timestamp to decimal if you see here uh, i choose the current timestamp so if you see here i choose the current timestamp right so probably i should have given uh, I, I probably have given some precision and scale so that's the reason uh, that's the reason it's it's added zero so uh, so probably I should have given 3 through 6, 9, 12 and 15. So I have given precision as 15 and scale as 6. Okay, so that's the reason uh, it, it just made this timestamp to decimal. Okay, and next is time ta uh, timestamp to string. Okay, so it's it's just the same but uh, it, it doesn't change the format or anything. But instead of the timestamp, the output data type in the, I mean, the target, it's going to be a string, okay? So whenever you're trying to deal with the next thing, it's going to be string data type, right? That's it. And next is timestamp to time. Timestamp to time, uh, I mean, as similar as timestamp to date, uh, when you're trying to do timestamp to date, it doesn't give the time, right? But now timestamp to time, it doesn't give the date. It just gives the time. See here, it just gave the time. No date here, okay? I believe you're following my cursor okay so next is time to decimal time to decimal here uh, if you see here time current time so whatever uh, the time i'm running it times to decimal right so it all depends on the precision and the scale again so probably i have given five and eight eight as a precision and three as a scale so that's the reason it's giving uh, it, it converted the time to decimal okay and next is time to string 
so yeah it's the same as uh, it's same as time stamp to, time stamp to string uh, it, it does not change anything uh, but just instead of the uh, time I mean instead of the time thing it gonna have a uh, string string data type but if you see here it has microseconds too right so that's the reason it I mean whole this thing is now as a is now counted as a string okay so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much about this uh, functions I probably have covered most of them you should you should uh, I mean you should be able to uh, see I I'm pretty sure I covered almost 90% of the type conversions probably I have left like rod string and new string those are pretty uh, simple functions and not not used often so that's the reason I have left them but I believe uh, <laughs> I believe I have completed most of the functions I'm sorry if I miss some because there are a lot of functions and I try to cover maximum okay anyways if if you have uh, I mean if I probably miss something or uh, if, if you're not uh, if I probably miss something uh, please try it yourself because if you have seen here it's pretty long and it's pretty confusing right so yeah it was confusing for me too because I don't often use all these functions it depends on the scenarios and all that so but anyways to uh, to show to you that's reason that's the only reason i have tried all the possibilities okay so yeah if if you find that some function some type conversion function is missing uh just just try it yourself and if it doesn't work please do message in my facebook uh it's on you it's on youtube page and you can search for data stage tutorials in facebook so you can find my group okay so that's it guys in my next video i'm gonna cover uh, the rest of the theory part of the next functions and um, that's it uh, and then we're gonna con uh, we're gonna make stage we're gonna know more about the stage variables and with an example and loop variables and example in next video okay thank you guys thank you so much for watching and uh, i wish you all a very very happy new year